What's up everybody? Thank you guys so much for joining this video. Today we're going to be talking a bit about my new Ping DLX cart bag. We're going to be breaking it down. It's going to be a little bit of a bag review slash what's in the bag. I didn't want to take everything out just to display every pocket and crevice of the bag. So it'll be a little bit of what's in the bag and you guys will see how functional and useful and how much space there is in the Ping DLX bag. So let's not waste any time and let's get right into this video. So this bag, I'm gonna kind of give you guys some backstory on why I got this bag specifically. My previous bag was this guy right here. And this is a Big Max Summit bag. It has, it's a dry light Summit bag, hybrid bag. You know, it's got the standing legs on the back. It's a 14 hole divider um, and it's a great bag. It's phenomenal, it has, you know, good weatherproof great bag and I've enjoyed my time with it but I feel like a lot of golfers that you know carry extra devices or you know they just have a lot to carry you feel like you're cramming you're cramming a lot of stuff into a small space and you would just like a bit more division or a bit more functionality and that was the point where I decided that I wanted to transition to a cart bag here in Utah where I play Every course I play has carts and I never walk holes. So, you know, having the back straps and the legs, they're not a necessity. They are nice and convenient, especially the legs when you take your bag off of the cart and I'm at the range or, you know, I'm just moving around with my bag. That is convenient, but almost every single time, especially how I'm a weekend golfer, I have a cart to put my bag on. So it's not really a necessity for me and not something that is huge, you know? It's not something that I really, really needed. That's kind of what did me away from this bag is I just wanted a bit more space. So let's jump into some of the features and functions and kind of the pockets and how this bag is built and why it was a perfect fit for me. So let's get into the bag. I currently have it sitting on top of a five gallon bucket. Pretty sketchy, but it should work. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna kind of walk through the different pockets, what some of my favorite parts of this bag, and if there is anything that I would change, but let's get into it. So let's go off the front right here. Off the front, we have four pockets. You have a personal like valuables pockets, you know, your wallet, keys, phone, if you do put that in the bag. You have a velvety lined pouch here. It's super great, super nice. Let me grab a chair really quick. Got your valuables. Put my phone and wallet here always first thing I do anytime I start around it has this front pouch But it also has a pocket on the front and what I love about this is a lot of times at the range I don't want to walk back to my cart and put my phone like in a cup holder or anything This is a great pocket like a quick access put my phone here when I'm at the range practicing I love the functionality of having that front pouch right here then we open up, for me, I use this as a ball pocket. I carry a pouch with some long tees, small tees, and my ball marker. I mark all my balls with a 360 triple track. Love it, super helpful. Keep all that good stuff in here. And it is a very large, don't know if you guys can see that, a very large pouch. You could fit probably 24 or so balls in there. Very nice. Then we will go to the side pouch. You have a glove velcro thing here i have the groove it uh cleaning brush that has water in it super nice it's magnetic so you just pop off the bag stick it back on love that and now let's get to the other side here you have two holders they look like pen one is definitely like a pen or pencil holder you got one here and then i think this is like a t marker or something like that i just use it for two different colored sharpies very nice this whole upper compartment very cool back behind this top pouch is where your cart strap runs through so it doesn't damage any of the like leather or faux leather i'm not sure what it is materials it slides back behind and there's openings around all of this so it goes all the way around and feeds that cart strap very nice function and feature instead of having it like run up here and damage the bag and wear it over time down here you have i did say that this was magnetic right magnetic pouch this one, we have another pouch. This logo looks kind of like a target to me, like somebody looking down their sights. So what I ended up doing is this, making this my range finder pouch. And I think it was just 
you know, a match made in heaven, we could say. This pouch is a zipper plus a magnet on the inside. So when I get to the course and I'm playing holes, I will just unzip this so I have quick access to it and I will use this as my rangefinder pouch. I also do have a driver wrench in here, which I'm probably gonna find a better place for it, but that's currently where I have it. So then I have my rangefinder. I have the Caddy View V2. Nothing crazy, but gets the job done. I don't think it's gonna focus. Caddy View in here does a great job. That's where that goes. And then probably one of the coolest pouch and that is so different from every golf bag, which I really enjoy is this front pouch. This front pouch is insane. It is your cooler. Most golf bags, it's the side pouch and it's this tiny little hard to get into and pull things out of pouch is your cooler lined pocket. This front one is what Ping chose to do and it is very big. It is can fit about 12 cans of sodas or beers, whatever your choice of drink is, can fit 12 cans in there and has a drain plug at the bottom. So if you're feeling extra, you can throw ice directly in the cooler line pouch and put your drinks in there. Keep your drinks, snacks, whatever you got cool uh, through your 18 holes or you know a long day. That's, that's pretty legit. I will probably won't be sticking ice in there because I don't want to deal with all the water draining all over the bottom of the bag or anything like that but it's cool that that features in there and they're accounting for you know sweating of cold drinks and things like that so really cool i love that front pouch and that was a big thing that made me want this bag let's get into the side pouches and kind of how i've used that functionality the two side pouches or i guess on both sides they have the exact same orientation and setup so we have a very large full full length pouch here in here on the sides you have mesh dividers but there's mesh dividers in here and so it makes it very easy to organize your things inside the bag i have three or four gloves in here you have this little like bungee attachment here it's on the inside of the bag and it's got you know this little clip i keep a spare range battery and you know a couple of little accessories that i might need but Right now, range battery is what's in here whenever my range finder dies. Then inside I have my rain jacket for whenever the weather calls or mother nature wants to surprise us with some rain. I got a rain jacket in here as well as a poncho for anybody else that didn't come very prepared. And then also it comes with our rain bag protector. So your club protector that you can snap onto the, the, the buttons here and have access by unzipping this and getting to your clubs if it is raining. Very nice. I also keep in the pouch in here a pair of rain gloves. So if the grips get slippery, need some extra grip, want to cover my hands, I got uh, some rain gloves in here as well. You can see how much I can fit and I have room to spare. Like I haven't even fully use this upper there's a smaller mesh pouch in here haven't even touched that so maybe that actually you guys are about to see a move on on the video i'm actually going to take the driver tool and i'm actually going to put that in this mesh pouch and that should be a perfect fit i believe let's see yep fit perfect so that is going to be that it's new home i'm going to get everything back in here you can see how much you can fit. It's super nice and it's not like overly bulging or doing anything crazy. It's a solid fit. In here, we have a smaller pouch, which is usually where like your valuables pouches are on like a stand bag. But here you have one up top and one here. This one isn't doesn't have that nice velvety lining, but that's totally fine. The functionality that I use it for, I use any like practice tools. So right now I bought some like chopsticks and put some string and I actually use this as my guide for when I'm trying to putt on a line and I'm trying to read read the greens on the on a practice green. So before my round, I'll set this up, stick this behind the hole or slightly off and read the break and use this as a great putting alignment tool. So I really enjoy this and it's a cheap and easy way. I might make a video or like a short video about how I made this and how it can help you as well. But that goes in there. It's a very large pouch. I can fit my whole hand in there but I just don't really have anything to go in there. So that's the one, the chopstick alignment tool. Let's rotate to the other side of the bag. I already showed you guys the groove it. 
let's open up this guy right here. Let's actually start with this top one. So it's the same as that putting alignment. And here I put a full size can of spray on sunscreen. Very important playing nine, 18 holes that you keep yourself protected and don't get burnt. Let's get into this bottom pouch. Let's see if we can show you guys a little bit better the inside of this mesh. So you can see on this side, I actually don't have anything for these mesh pouches. They do open up really good. So you could fit a lot of solid stuff in there. Currently, I have a Blue Tees speaker in there uh, mounted. It has a magnetic strip on the back. So mounted to the car, it's super cool. And then I also have my Swing Caddy SC4 launch monitor in the box big box you can see big bigger than my head and it just fits in here perfectly with space to spare so we got the swing caddy sc4 and this is kind of like my tech pouch anything that's like techie goes on this side and i'll probably keep it that way like to not keep it super cluttered i actually just pre-ordered another blue tees the player plus speaker that has a display on it so these speakers do connect and sync up so i'll probably have two of them and put that on my cart for some surround sound we could say it's a little extra i don't need it but i wanted it that is is the bag guys this bag i don't know if, i don't believe it's a fully waterproof bag uh, but it has this faux leather leather outing which is definitely going to be water resistant you know it's not going to soak up all the water the build is is a great quality it seems like it's going to be a very durable bag and it's going to last me many of years on the back, this is actually a really cool feature, which I have not seen in any other bags. It's, it has these pouches right here, and these are actually shoe pouches. So they just fold back into the bag if you don't have any shoes. But something that I always do, I can't tell you how many times I've driven out to the course when I'm rushing out the door to make my tea time, and I forget my shoes. And when I go to the course, I go in a pair of like foam slides. And so it is, they're not playable shoes. So when I forget them, I have to turn around and come back home and get my golf shoes. And this has been a game changer because I literally end, finish my round and I stick my shoes in here. And it's nice because they don't stink up the bag or anything. They're out so they can still air out and dry. Uh, but it's just a great place to have your shoes. Just be a part of your bag. So everything is here and I can just grab my bag and be out the door. So love that feature. I think it's super cool. You got your single, strap so it's just an over arm so it's not going to be a super comfortable it's a very thick and padded strap so it doesn't hurt to carry it but it is a very heavy bag so it's not something that i would recommend or i don't want to do i don't have a caddy i just play casual golf so it's just something for me to get it on the car off the car and in my bat in my car or to the range you know it's just quick transport for this bag it's got another pretty sturdy it's got like this plastic or if not like a very hard plastic if not metal inside this hand strap so very easy to carry it from here and there also is a front strap as well that you can carry on the front slipping through here there is an it's labeled umbrella right here it has a little tab so your umbrella does slide through here and have a hook on the bottom of the bag right here so that is very nice I do have a Peak Design camera mounting accessory here just to mount my camera if I want to, you know, take some pictures or do some content on the course. That is a way I can do it. I have a way to do it and just mount it and quickly get access to my camera. I think it was a little bit more functional on my other bag, honestly, so I don't know how much I'll actually be using this. One thing we should talk about is the top of the bag, the orientation on top of the bag. So this bag, you can't really see the dividers but it is a 15 section divided bag. I think the orientation is really cool and very nice. You have your front putter pouch that is padded to protect your most important club, the club you use all the time. So you have that front padding and then you have plenty of other dividers. So it is a very versatile, you can put training tools, ball retrievers, alignment sticks, all these great tools into this bag. So overall, this bag has been a 10 out of 10. For me, I absolutely love this bag and would recommend it. It does come at a very steep price point. After taxes for me, it was about $350. So it is expensive, but it seems to be a very durable bag. And I think it is gonna last me a long time. So in the long run, I'm not gonna be going through two, three bags and I'm gonna be carrying this thing for a long time. So 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it and enjoyed this informative bag tour. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. If you have any questions or something you feel like I didn't cover, let me know and I'll be sure to answer them in the comments. But y'all have a good rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.